The communication protocol test harness is easily customized to provide your own functional tests. One way to customize the test harness is with .NET plugins using any .NET programming language like VB.NET, C Sharp, or J Sharp. The test harness can also be customized using Tickle TK scripts. Another way to create custom functional tests is using the built-in command window. The command window has a series of commands, each with an icon or a button. If you click the button, it executes that command. So for example, clicking the button next to integrity pull causes the test harness to execute that integrity pull. Now if we double click the command name, the test harness opens a configuration window and we can customize this command. So for example, for the report by exception data pull, we can choose the qualifier code. We could, for example, only pull for 20 events or pull for all events and include or exclude certain data classes. We can also customize this window to automatically repeat the command. We can adjust the repeat interval using the up and down arrow or we can just type in the window and set the value. When we press start repeat, the test harness adds this progress bar and you can see the progress of the delay between each command. Let's take a look at some of the commands in the command window. One command is the validate points command. With the validate points command, you can set up the points in the test harness to have specific expected values or expected flags, and the test harness will compare the current value in the database to those flags. Now you can click this checkbox for a class 1, 2, 3 event poll, and before executing the compare, the test harness will execute in a class 1, 2, 3 poll in order to get the latest changes. You can also delay the read. So for example, if you do a CROB command and then a point validation command, you could delay to let things settle before you read the commands. Another interesting command is the Omicron command. If you have an Omicron test set such as a CMC 156, 256, or 356 connected to the test harness, you can control that test equipment through the test harness and specifically through this command. So for example, we can set the status of binary outputs, we could set voltages, or set currents. This is very useful for setting up a series of test conditions, which can then be read by the test harness, and those test conditions can be compared against expected values. The command window also includes a conditional command. The conditional command lets you set up a test condition and set up branching based on the result of that condition. When the conditional command window is open, this red bar indicates where the flow will jump to if the test expression evaluates to true. And finally, if there's not a built-in command to do what you want, you can always use the custom tickle command and write your own tickle tk script, which will be executed from within this command window. This gives great power in customizing your functional tests. Note that all of the commands can be organized by simple drag and drop. So we can put like commands together if we wish. Even more powerful is the run all commands option. When we select run all commands, the test harness will cycle through each of these commands in order, and this is really where the conditional command comes into play because you can control that data flow with the conditional command and create some pretty elaborate scripts. We have some examples of this in workspaces that ship with the test harness. So as you can see, it's very easy to create custom functional tests with the test harness. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can write plugins using any .NET programming language, or you can use TickleTK scripts, but you can also do a lot of things from the command window without having to program.